Hello, today we're going to walk through a short tour of the Arbor Network's advanced threat platform, Arbor Spectrum. There are three components that we'll be discussing, the hunting module, the host dossier module, and the connections module. When you first log in, you'll be in the hunting module, and you'll be looking at attack indicators that are present on a monitored network within the last 24 hours. You can change that view and look for attacks that have occurred within the last few minutes, all the way up to the last year. Alternatively, you can turn on the live stream and you can look for attack activity as it's occurring. However, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to refer back to that 24 hour time period. Now, let's move into the hunting submenu. Now, here is where you can change the way the attack data is displayed in the way that's easiest for you to conduct your investigation. You can look for attacks based on their source their destination, or you can look for attacks based on specific characteristics or what we call attack indicators. You can also look for attacks that are coming from or going to a specific geography. Now you'll notice that as I clicked through this menu that the view in the main visualization changed to display that data accordingly. Now let's move into the tabular view at the bottom. Here's where you'll get more insight into the attack indicators you've seen in the main visualization. Opening up the details on the tabs gives you a detailed look at what you've uncovered in the main visualization and provides a foundation for your attack investigation. So let's start by looking at a suspect host and move into the host dossier module. The host dossier module pulls together threat indicators and traffic activity over time. Now you can look at all of the threat indicators that have popped up in that specific host's traffic and also get some detail on that threat information. You can also move to the bottom of the page and look at all of the entities that that host is communicating with using the Sankey diagram below. Now if you have already have a suspicious host that you're investigating, you can navigate directly to the host dossier module and change the IP address in the search bar here and conduct a search that way. But let's go back to this, this host that we've identified. We're really interested in taking a look at who this host is communicating with and getting more information on those connections. So let's move into the connections page. The connections module displays all traffic from the packet and or flow collectors you have deployed at a per connection granularity. Now if you've clicked through from the host dossier module as we just did, your connection search is pre-populated with that suspect host's IP address as well as the host IP address of the asset that we had identified. Now we're going to click search and let that process and while that's happening, let's point out that you can navigate directly to the connections page and view connections coming from or going to any specific asset or between hosts. You simply change the data in the search criteria and run your search. So it looks like that search is finished processing, so let's open it up and view the connections that are occurring between that suspect host and our asset. You can see that there's a there are two, two bits of communication and we can open up the details of those and really start to build a profile of what's happening. So armed with information on the attack, the suspected attacker, as well as the intended targets on your network and the connections in between, you really start to understand you know, what's at risk in your network and you have the information necessary to prioritize and also to take action to protect those assets on your network. So this was just a really quick tour of the main pieces of the solution. Please visit our website for more information and join us next time as we go through some specific tasks. Thank you.